Okay. Hello, Yella. It is uh, it is me, uh, ma'am, bringing you uh, a couple of more South African theatre forms with an agenda. How they are, in, are originated, why they originated, and what function uh, or purpose they portray in our South African society. Um, uh, we stopped with Workers' Theatre on yesterday's video and you had your little role-playing Workers' Theatre um, assignment, which I hope you are working on and that I will be able to view quite soon. So just make sure that you focus on Activity 5 on page 154. Right, guys, I refer you now to page 157. Uh, where we will be discussing community theatre as a form of theatre with an agenda. All right. Now, community theatre is used as a vehicle for social education and development. It is used for social education and development. Community theatre practice is broad and varied. It uh, and includes both amateur and professional theatre pr uh, practitioners. Each practitioner defines community theatre in his or, her, his or her own particular way. Right. Now, uh, Zeke's Nda, which is a very uh, famous and prominent uh, South African uh, theatre figure, wrote a book called When People Play People. All right. Uh, he defines community theatre as a performance art that builds a relationship with members of the community and thus motivates them to participate. It works with the community to help them study their situation in order to identify issues for an in-depth analysis. Uses the indigenous forms of cultural expression. Okay? It also organizes performance as a way of bringing communities together. And lastly, he says it explores through drama, dance, mime and songs, ways of deepening the understanding of the issues and looking for solutions. Right, page over for me, please. Uh, in the middle of page 159, you will see the purposes of community theater. Now, community theatre groups create and perform plays in community halls, churches and schools, or even in the street in order to mobilise and motivate the community to be active in education and development. This is not protest theatre. This is not theatre of resistance. This is not workers' theatre. This is community theatre. Community theatre basically wants to educate and develop a community. All right. Um, they want to motivate a community to be active in education and development programs, as well as to provide entertainment and meaningful recreation for the community. So some of the reasons that pe people give for making community theatre are to educate the community or the world outside the community, in fact. Okay. There are many communities in our society that we don't know how their inner workings operate. But if a community theatre group were to come and perform a piece of theatre at our school, uh, let's say an Indian community group come and perform a piece of Indian community theatre, it's going to educate us. It's going to encourage us to learn and to develop our and to broaden our horizons about different communities in our society as well as entertain us All right so it's going to show us something that we haven't seen before but within the indian community those um indian uh, performers a, a lot of them are amateurs these are not necessarily professional or uh, performers né? um once again they educate they celebrate and they uh, activate a community uh, into um, into a, a positive uh, 
taking a positive direction in terms of helping themselves okay but it it's not against a, a government it's not a, it's not negative it's the approach is educational and developmental all right so it's to educate the community um the community theater can be used as a tool for promoting awareness about aids or for teaching people how to vote in fact all right um one of the other reasons it could be to provide means of collaborative problem solving and conflict resolution uh it can be to provide income generation employment and or meaningful leisure time activity for both performers and audience it can be to empower sensitize and conscientize the community to make a community aware all right uh, it can be to create community spirit and unity and it can provide skills based training in theater and facilitation skills all right so community theater is very valuable then we get to satirical review on page 159 now satirical review you've learned you've uh, you uh, you had an introduction to satire last year where satire comes from even in greek theater they use satire, satire as a form of of com as a form of comedy to make fun of people uh, in greek theater they would make fun of the spartans uh, in Comedia del Arte, they would use a satire to make fun of the of certain uh, members of society who thought they were better than others. Um, in uh, in in uh, let's look at uh, yeah, like I mean even Charlie Chaplin is satire, all right, because it's what. Um, it's always been an important and popular way of protesting against the state or a situation or a person that's in power. All right. Someone that you can't necessarily control. Okay. Now, why would satirical review or satire in South Africa be so significant? The subject matter of satire is most frequently politics, sexual relations, absurdity or stupidity of any kind okay although it often deals with the harsher realities of human existence it is meant to make us laugh or smile and humor is used as a weapon humor is used as a weapon in south africa under apartheid the subject matter was primarily political in the 1960s and 70s Many protest theater groups used the musical review as a medium for satirical political comment. Now, musical review was basically a satire play with music. All right. So it's a musical satire. All right. In 1966. Okay. Ignore that little bit. <laughs> All right. Many. Well, not the bit that I said before about the musical review. It's just a the paragraph that says in 1966 you can skip that important to remember that many south african solo performers have used the uh, satire um, as a form the most outstanding being peter dirk ice others have been ian fraser mark banks kasper de fries soli filander mark lottering and gilda blacher all right these are popular um popular satirists in south africa now if ever you really need to remember what satire is internationally satire has become popular as stand-up comedy okay intersperse political satire in between other topics and so give it a broader appeal okay now the basic techniques used in satire is what the technique of reduction devalues the victim of a satire by reducing their stature and sort of attacking their dignity basically the satirist attempts to strip the victim let's say victim of any illusions of importance reducing them from the godlike 
to the animal. The satirist also uses mimicry. This comes from the satirist's ability to spot the compulsive, unconscious gestures in the victim and to re reproduce them. This is achieved by creating a recognizable likeness, not by merely impersonating, but rather by distorting and exaggerating these, uh, these gestures. Think of a cartoonist, guys. Um, it's, it's very simple, similar to what a cartoonist does. He exaggerates physical features of a person. All right. But now a performing satirist would ob obviously include other elements of that exaggeration with movement, voice, uh, you know, elements of drama that's included. Satire can be cruel, but it is highly effective in revealing what people fail to see beneath the surface. The satirist puts on a mask in order to unmask others. Oh, that is deep. Right. Um, all right, and obviously, sorry, I'm still with you. Obviously, in light of what satire is, you can imagine why a satirical review uh, or satire in South Africa really took off because uh, people had a lot to um, make fun of, all right? So there was a very serious and plenty, plentiful serious issues happening throughout the history of South Africa, but it gave ample opportunity for artists to, to uh, satirize um, a person, a uh, institution, um, in power okay so very important satirical review okay right activity seven guys satirizing a well-known person that is on page 160 in your group choose a local public figure for politician that you think is worth satirizing what are the things this person does that lend themselves to ridicule how could you use the techniques of satire to draw attention to their flaws in an entertaining way? Create a short skit to present your satire to the rest of the class. This is an important activity. It's an individual task. Uh, it doesn't, once again, it doesn't have to be a whole production. It's really just for you guys to grasp, and girl, to grasp what satire is. So please work on activity seven for me all right choose a well-known well-known uh south african public figure doesn't have to be a politician necessary but it is a public figure meaning it's a person uh, in power okay it's a well-known person um and find and and basically what you need to do is make a little stand-up sketch uh, about this person you could impersonate the person you can recreate the person or you can just comment on this person all right but use the elements of satire um, to achieve that that's all from me for today um hang in there guys we're nearly through <laughs> i feel your pain we are nearly through south african theater and especially a South African theatre with an agenda. Uh, I'm going to try and cover theatre of conservation, educational theatre, as briefly as possible in the next video. And then we're at the end of the chapter and I, I feel like jumping up and down because, uh, look, it is important. It's very valuable knowledge that you are gaining and insights that you are gaining. But yeah, it's a bit of a mission to get there, I know. I feel you. All right. So please focus on activity seven on page 160, as well as the other previous activities and assignments that I've given you. All right. Remember, guys, uh, I know what I'm recording, so I will be following up and checking up on you. Okay. I don't want to sound like an uh, old plot with the whole time, but yeah keep up all right um this is the only way that this arrangement is gonna work okay love and leave you bye bye oh